If we take a look at example two, we'll notice this uh, triangle is a three, four, five right triangle. And they've given us these angle measures of 37 degrees and 53 degrees. Those aren't the exact angle measures, but they're pretty close. Um, I want to say it's more like 53.13 and 36.87, I think is closer to the right numbers. But just for the sake of what we're doing, we're going to approximate these. They're giving us this information. And they want the following triangle to find the approximate value of sine of 37 and sine of 53. So let's talk about this sine that we're discussing here. <clears throat> sine of an angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of an angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent of an angle equals opposite over adjacent. So every triangle has three sides. One of those a right triangle specifically one of those sides is an opposite side, one of those sides is adjacent side, one of those sides is a hypotenuse. And what sine, cosine, and tangent are just ratios of two of those three sides every time. And there is a mnemonic device that helps us memorize the exact ratios here, which the mnemonic device is SOHCAHTOA. can remember that word Sokotoa. It's got a specific spelling S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A, Sokotoa. Right. S for sine, O for opposite, H for hypotenuse. C for cosine, A for adjacent, H for hypotenuse. T for tangent, O for opposite, A for adjacent, so Sokotoa. And that word helps most people memorize the sine, cosine, tangent ratios. So, if I'm trying to do the sine of 37, let me start with that. That's what it's asking me to do, sine of 37. First thing I want to do is identify my 37 degree angle. You can see the triangle here is drawn in standard position. My right angle is in the bottom right hand corner here. That means the slanted side is the hypotenuse. I usually abbreviate with three letters. If I'm doing a sine, cosine, or tangent problem with this juncture in the book, I would expect you guys to draw a picture of the triangle on your paper, mark it up with all the numerical values in it, and identify the opposite adjacent hypotenuse on it. That's what I'd want to see for the work to be shown in these problems. So I'd expect you to have this triangle drawn, hypotenuse marked, the angle we're going to work with highlighted or maybe circled or something like that on your paper to show that I know that what you know what angle you're working with. And then for the acute angle we're working with, I want to identify across the triangles the opposite side for 37, and the other side, 4, must be the adjacent. So I would expect to see something looking like that on your paper for this problem in order to evaluate the sine of 37. Okay. And then, sine of 37, I maybe I also want you to have Sokoto written on your paper. Um, the hardest part of Sokoto is knowing how to spell it, so if you just, every time you need to use it, you write it down, the spelling becomes second nature and it's not that hard to know. All right, I'm trying to do sine of 37, so I'm going to identify which part of Sokoto is going to help me find the answer. Sine of 37, always sine equals a fraction, so I'm going to write that. And then I look at my opposite, my hypotenuse here, opposite 3 over hypotenuse 5, so the answer is 3 fifths. Okay. The problem says also find the approximate value of sine of 53. So if I'm doing a sine of 53 degrees, now I've got a 53 degree angle I'm working with. The hypotenuse is the same hypotenuse every time, but the opposite and adjacent switch by switch angles. So now I'm going to have opposite is 4, adjacent must be 3, because the hypotenuse is 5. Once again, I'm working with Sokotoa, so if I want to do sine of 53 degrees, using so again, but this time opposite is 4, hypotenuse is 5, so the answer is 4 fifths. 
So if they give you a triangle, all the angles, all the sides, it's right triangle, you have the capacity to find the sine or the cosine or the tangent of either of the acute angles. But again, draw the triangle, give me all the numbers, identify opposite adjacent hypotenuse, write down SOHCAHTOA and do the proper ratio for it. And that'll help you develop the skills you need in order to do these problems all the time.